Hi friends! Today is going to be my TBR for the Reindeer Readathon. The Reindeer Readathon is a readathon that is taking place during the entire month of December. It is hosted by Eric at Break Even Books, who I'll link down below. And basically there are a prompt for each one of Santa's reindeer, plus some little extra prompts. There's a whole thing. And there are teams, and I'm on Team Nutcracker. Uh, our leader is Steph from Coffee Over Apples, who I will also link below. I think the idea is that the teams were like evenly separated, and then there will be like a point system somebody wins at the end. What do we win? I, I don't know. So, anyway. First off, I have lots of arcs to read this month, like a whole butt ton of arcs to read this month. And I am behind on a few from last month. I have a bunch to read for this month. I got a lot of arcs going on. So most of my picks are arcs. In fact, there is nothing on my TBR for the entire month that's anything that I physically own. So no, there's one. But it's not part of this readathon. So, but anyway, moving on. Uh, so for our prompts, the first is Dasher, a short story collection or novella. And for that, I'm reading My True Love Gave to Me, um, which is a collection of short stories by various authors. Looks something like this. The next prompt is Dancer, read a book by a favorite author. Rereads also count, but I will be reading An Arc of When You Get the Chance by Emma Lord, who I've read two books from previously and really enjoyed. Prancer is a book with a travel element, and for that I will be reading Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins, because um, I know that book has something to do with like people on a vacation. I know a whole lot about these books, clearly. Uh, Vixen, a book that recently caught your eye. I'm going with Bad Luck Bridesmaid by Alison Ray Greenberg. Something to do about a bridesmaid. That's all I got. I don't know. Again, these are arcs, so I have no very little. Uh, Comet is a five star prediction. And for that, I'll be reading Ace of Spades by Farida Abike Ayumide. Um, it's also the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge book for December, so snuck that one in. Speaking of books, we snuck in. Next is Cupid which is taking a shot at reading a new author. And I will be reading Mangoes and Mistletoes by Adriana Herrera. And that is the group book for Beautifully Bookish Bethany's book club. So again, sneaking in the men, my friends. We then have Donner, a book with green or red on the cover. And I will be reading Christmas As We Know It by Sarah Sutton, who is a fellow author tuber who I will link in the description box down below. That book comes out December 1st. I haven't read any of Sarah's books before, but you know me. I love the Christmas romance books, so here for it. Oh, uh, should I clarify? Ace of Spades? No idea what it's about. Couldn't tell you. I've heard a lot of really good things about it though. Like I've heard it compared to Legend Board, which was one of my favorite books of the year. So hence why it's a five star prediction. And Mangoes and Mistletoes is a female female romance that I think takes place at like a Christmas bake off show. I don't even know y'all. Sounds great. Uh, back to the list. <laughs> I get so into it and then I forget to tell you what the books are about, even though I don't actually know what they're about. Cool. Um, Blitzen was using some kind of a crowdsource or like doing a poll or asking a family member, basically having people choose between three books. Um, I snuck in some books over 500 pages for a future prompt. There was basically a tie between the fourth book in the uh, An Ember and Ashes by Sabah Tahir and book two in the Shades of Magic trilogy by V.E. Schwab. And so I just requested both of them from the library to see which one came through first. And Schwab came through. So I will be reading the second book in the Shades of Magic series for that, um, which is A Gathering of Shadows. Rudolph is a standalone because Rudolph, right? I will be reading How to Love Your Neighbor by Sophie Sullivan. Again, I think it's just like a regular adult rom-com. I don't really know what it's about uh, because arc no clue. So there are a couple of extra prompts on here. Um, Christmas Star was like to read a book over 500 pages. Um, so for that I'm reading A Gathering of Shadows. Christmas Lights was um, a book via ebook and I'm reading 
I'm g several of them count for that. And then Christmas Carols is a book via audio. And a couple of them count for that. Uh, the Schwab book and uh, the short story collection. All of those. Basically, if you read everything, your reindeer prompts and your bonus star lights carols prompts, then you get to read another book um, that fits one of the original prompts, the reindeer prompts. And then you can pick another book to read that fits one of those prompts and count those points as well. There's a lot of rules to this game. And like, I don't know for sure what I would count, but I still need to finish Rules for Vampires, which is an arc, If This Gets Out by Sophie Gonzalez, which is an arc, uh, The Hawthorne School, and the Excalibur Curse, again, both arcs. And then our author tube chat book club pick this month was uh, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. So I'm going to reread that because I've read that before. And also The Twelve Days of Dash and Lily, which is the sequel to that. And then the third book in that series, which I haven't read yet, is Mind the Gap, Dash and Lily. Um, so I'm sure at some point one of those like seven books will fit one of those additional prompts. So um, that's everything that's on my list for the month. Um, am I going to read all of these things? We're hoping um, because I need to get all of these arcs read by the end of the month and I have to read like the Dash and Lily thing for my own book club. So that's a priority. I'll also be reading another book for a video this month, um, which you'll see later on in the month, like halfway through. Um, so I've got lots of reading to do this month. Speaking of things that you will see later this month, uh, because this is the first day of Advent, I did want to address, which <laughs> my decorations aren't even up yet, uh, but I'm filming this early. So because this is the first day of Advent, uh, I did want to mention that last year I highlighted a content creator at the end of every video for the month and kind of like highlighting creators under a thousand subscribers that I enjoy. And I wanted to do that again this year. However, um, when I went through my list, I had about 60 people that I really wanted to highlight. And that would be like three people on some videos and two on others. And so what I decided to do instead is I am at some point this month going to make a dedicated uh, video of recommendations for you of content creators. Most are booktubers or author tubers um, or somewhere in that middling lane. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort them out based off of, uh, you know, are they more live stream focused or writing focused or reading focused? If they're reading or writing focused, do they read or write in a specific genre um, and kind of put them through all in one video, sort them out, um, put some bookmarks in there for you so that you can go to what area most interests you or watch the whole thing if you like. Um, so I'm just going to have one video with a whole bunch of recommendations on it uh, because the recommendations part of these videos actually sometimes takes longer than the video itself uh, because I want to make sure I get it right and I want to make sure that I'm portraying the person as accurately as possible um, and you know getting you guys the information that you need to make you as excited about watching these creators as I am. So um, that will just be a video, like I said, one large video later this month rather than one person per video, which I like the style of more, but I'm subscribed to so many people. It's really just hard to highlight just a few people when I really want to highlight a large group. So that is what I will be doing for the month. Welcome to the end of day one of Advent. Do I know what order these videos are all going to go in yet? No. Am I bulk filming today? Yes. Will you be seeing this sweater in several videos at the beginning of the month? Yes. Uh, but you know, you guys love me, right? It's fine. Okay. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, including the next 25 days of videos every day, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.